So yeah, I just got done watching this show, and man, I loved it. I watched, I remember I watched the premiere for it. I uh, I loved it then, um, and I uh, I took a break on it. I'm like, okay, nine episodes left. I don't know what's gonna happen because I was watching. I was around um, watching other things, and I'm like, maybe they'll do the same thing that the. I watched on I watched the other episodes on Netflix. This is genius. Genius. And people are going to say no, no, but no. There's a character named ne Nina Patterson played by Bella Thorne and um All right, I got to say stuff about Bella Thorne. All right. Okay. Um first of all, thank you Kevin Williamson for having her uh, being in a dark black bikini and having her uh, just being just having a fun time um, getting in there her pool um, that's that's that was sexy um, I'm thinking of putting that as a thumbnail probably um, uh, what else can I say it's just she's supposed to be the Drew Barrymore character um, modernized version I guess and um well, she did a, she cyber bullied, um, this girl who people think is a dude, and she's pretty cute too, as well, um, just because she was, you know, with someone else, but a girl, and, um, something happens where there's a random killer, and the killer kills her, which I think was really, really cool, and, um, really good ideas with more with with like creative creative deaths and um before i end this i want to say and i i talked to kyle about this is scream one we just we should have just had scream just scream scream one um that was one of those movies that it was just how could, you know, it was just, there are movies out there like, um, I love Freddy and Jason, but Freddy and Jason are more like, more mutated, mutants, and, um, I know like, Michael Myers is kind of, is, he's human, but I think that like, Scream was a great idea for that because they're real, they're not mutated people. They are real human beings. They're just out of their fucking mind. But they're human beings. And how like they're dressed with the like I love how mysterious they are. And how like um they're just masked. I always liked that idea where it was always it, I thought it was I think it's more spooky and more gruesome where it's a human being and not a cannibal or anything. It's, I think it's more realism, and it's more realism with my film making, um, when I'm doing Destroyer, it's more, it's really human being, but it's a human being going, like, Jack Torrance, and, um, Norman Beatty, you know, uh, Norman Bates, Beatty, <laughs> but, you get what I mean, but, um, I really recommend this, um, it was funny, it was cool to see who who was really the, uh, it was more of the sister or some, but it was a, it was really cool to know who it was and seeing who's going to be it for the next season, which I think is really cool. I liked the whole cliffhanger at the end of this ep of the last episode, of Revelations, and I liked the sweet, very sweet, um, in memoriam for the late and great Wes Craven, which I really thought was really nice so i loved this tv show it has to be one of my favorites it really does um it's better than scream queens jesus it was better than scream queens but um i hope you like this and 